Hi y'all! Welcome back to Brit Reviews It All. Um, today I am actually going to be um, discussing sisters. Um, so this episode for me it was really kind of like kind of slow. You know, I don't know. If, I mean, maybe call it like a filler kind of episode. Um, I'm not going to go in order. I'm just going to go based off of the things that I recall because I did not take notes on this when I just watched it. It was just like, eh. you know, um, so the biggest thing with me is what happened between, well, not the biggest thing, but there was the scene that happened between Sabrina and Val. Um, it was just kind of like, dude, are you serious right now? I don't know what kind of games he was trying to play with her, but, um, it just basically ended in her dismissing him and him kind of dismissing her a little bit but it was like sir no i i almost think you were dead serious about like her you basically expecting her to do whatever you want her to do because you put up the money for her bail and for her friend um but when she came at you and looked at you like uh, absolutely not and declined regardless of how much money you put down she was like uh-uh I cannot be bought honey um it almost was kind of like he switched his tunes I, I don't know um he's still a mysterious uh character don't really know exactly what more we're gonna get from him so we're gonna see but in the end he ended up kind of reading her tale um and then just kind of and then left so at the end of the day, I don't think Sabrina gave a dang because it was just like, yeah, no. I don't know what kind of games you're playing, but uh, we ain't doing that. Oh, I hope I don't. I like my bacon, my bacon burnt. I'm, it's cooking right now while I'm doing this video. So let's hope it's not too, too bad. Um, <clears throat> now, that was Sabrina. Now, everybody goes to Karen's house to do a girl sit down, a meet up. Um, they out there discussing. She opens the door and finds all of them out there talking. Um, so they come on in. They sit down and talk to her. Basically just about the whole baby daddy thing. Who's the daddy? Who's not? Um, she's basically sticking to her word and saying um, Aaron is not the father. Um, they're all curious as to how he even got access to the information. Which is a big question mark because... Honey, somebody at that hospital is telling that girl's business. You have a way of keeping tabs on her and finding out the information that you need to know. It's really sneaky. And that's another reason why I don't blame Karen for kind of trading lightly with him, even though she has been playing, playing back and forth with him because of her feelings for Zach. Now, um, pretty much they kind of put it out there Andy went on ahead and said it like girl is it possible that there could have been another person another potential baby daddy but she's like uh no um what kind of woman do you think I am um she was being Karen was being extremely calm and I'm like I don't know I don't know y'all I still feel like something is not right when it comes to the situation with Karen Zach and this baby something's not right about it I don't know what it is just yet, but something is not right. I really do not think Zach is the father of that child. Um, so that's that. And in the end, they were able to say what they need to say. My favorite person is Danny. And Danny's like, look, y'all not going to keep telling me to be quiet. I'm going to say what I want to say. <sighs> okay. I'm going to give it to you straight. No chase. They're like, and I, lo I love Danny. Um, she revealed, and I didn't recall this, but she revealed that her and Preston are actually going to really give it a chance. She is considered a girlfriend, but it's like, ma'am, don't mess it up, okay? Y'all going to follow me. I'm not even going to turn the camera off. I'm going to go check out my bacon. But it's like, girl, mm -mm, don't do that. So, so that happens. So, they also have... Um, Andy, she's basically telling um, them, or basically she kind of was pushed into telling them that she's actually going to get ready to go on a date that she came across from doing the, um, the dating app. Um, I don't know how interesting that is. I feel like it's not really that interesting to me 
per se. Uh, not really that interesting to me. Just saying. I could care less. I could care less if that girl was going on a date with somebody. Long as it's anybody but Gary and hopefully a, a good guy. So we're going to see what happens with that. She seems excited, and then she knows it's getting under Gary's skin. But it's like, girl, quit playing games and just move on, all right? Leave it alone. Um, so that was what happened with that. And then let's go over to Zach and Fatima. They are still en route to go and um, take Zach's son some food to eat because they know that the mom is a stripper, and she, so she works that night. She's pretty much at the club. Now, what I didn't know is they're saying, um, the, the neighbor is saying she's been calling CPS. And they said that they were coming out the next day to do another home check. Um, she also revealed that that girl be having different men in and out that house and leaving them with that baby. Um, I'm just like, huh? In my eyes, I feel like, okay, you have confirmed that Zach is the father, correct? So, when you have to go work at night, you have to go to work, why not make arrangement with Zach to start keeping the son while you're at work? And that will allow him to start building on a relationship with the son. Now, I almost pretty much just answered my own question in my head. Pretty much why she's probably not doing that is because she doesn't really want Zach all the way in her business into how she's been raising the son. It's going to look bad on her and it may give him all the ammunition that he needs to be able to get full custody of the child, i.e. no child support for you, ma'am. My dread, what I'm dreading is the typical, um, let's say not typical, but those baby moms who basically do not use that money for the right thing um i feel like she would fall under that category the minute that zach starts to give her the child support um so yeah either way zach went to the door door gets closed in his face some random dude I, this was not the same guy that was there the other time they showed the scene where they were went to the apartment you hear him screaming um and zach got the door closed in his face he walks off he's leaving he hears him scream again when i tell you zach burst through that door like the freaking hulk that was crazy and he went crazy on this man um we know zach has a short temper so does fatima uh, so we're gonna have to see what really happens with that now flashing back to karen and aaron she called him to have a sit down with him and basically let him know, sir, I want you to stop saying that you're the father of my child. Did you really, really read those results? And when he read it, he actually saw that it said he was 99% not the father. Um, I still think something is up with that. It could be one of two things. One, it could be Karen may have slept with somebody else in order to be able to say that Zach is the father and maybe no one else knows about it um, because she wanted to want it so bad for that baby to be Zach's right and she wanted to keep some kind of connection with him that could be one scenario um, the second thing is she could have falsified the paperwork to make it as if um, Aaron was not the father and then that would only leave it to be Zach, right? Because for, at this point, she said she's only been with two men. I don't know. I don't know. Those are the two scenarios that are spinning in my head. Y'all tell me what y'all think. But other than that, um, other than the DA pretty much saying that he, they were dropping the case against Sabrina and, um, and Maurice, which is beautiful, um, they took cues behind back to freaking jail where he needed to be punk thank goodness um so they're gonna get some really good news pretty soon um the the detective i'm like dude what's your problem what is your problem are you really doing all that because you're trying to get a promotion like what's up you were about to put two innocent freaking people in jail 
with a little bit of information. How is that going to go over in court? Absolutely not. Um, but yeah. So that's that, y'all. That is my thoughts on sisters. Uh, like I said, wasn't really given much this episode. We are going to see what is about to happen. I think next week they're going to keep it rolling, which will be November the 1st on Wednesday. So we will see. If you have watched this video in its entirety, I want to thank you. Um, please continue to watch. I will continue to try to post as much as I can. Uh, my child's sleeping pattern has been completely off the rails this entire week. So I'm all over the place. But um, I'm here. All right. So again, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be back soon. Bye, y'all.